Welcome back, basketball fans. Welcome back. So in this video, we'll be looking at Cape Verde. Cape Verde, I mean, they've just been sensational. They won against Venezuela. I mean, 81-75, but they just had a rough start against Georgia. Like, this game was... It, it, it was brutal for Cape Verde. I mean, 85-60 to just open game day one in Japan. But in the game against Venezuela, that's a game that it was it, it was decided... And I just looked at that game today and I just saw Kevadi just come in and just have like a bounce back game. But if you look at that game against Georgia, you can see we've got the Almeida brothers. They were in there. They played heavy minutes. But in that game, in the first game, they didn't show up at all. Like Ivan played 20, Ivan Almeida here he played 23 minutes, six points. Joel Almeida two points. I mean, we had we had uh, the the guys that you know they generate points and shot create. They were not able to like get their shots pretty well, and they just had a very very rough game, especially to start the tournament. And Georgia just had like some uh, some good offense and played some good team basketball. They're able to like offset Kevadi. But if you look at that game against Venezuela, Kevadi won that game eighty one seventy five and. Kevadi, the guys that we expect to like be able to like you know show up. You saw Eddie Tavares also in the in the game against Georgia. He was really struggling. He only had six points. He played heavy minutes. He played twenty five total minutes, six points, twenty eight percent shooting from the field, two of seven. But he had twelve rebounds, so he was not able to convert, especially scoring wise. But in the game against Venezuela, I mean. They just turned off the heat. They just turned up the heat. You can see Ivan Almeida. He he went back to like how he scores. Thirty minutes played, eighteen points. Will Tavares, I mean, he had twenty points. Eddie Tavares was really struggling as well, and he he also had he had a dud game against Georgia. But this one, he also had another dud game. So the other guys that were able to like carry Kevadi to the win you've got Benito Gomez 26 minutes played 22 points Willy Tavares 20 points Ivan Almeida Joel Almeida wasn't he wasn't like on in this game he he also had a dud game together with Eddie Tavares 13 minutes played six points his, his shots weren't falling but some guys just stepped up like Benito Gomez he stepped up like Willy Tavares Will Tavares stepped up I mean Ivan Almeida his scoring was just it was necessary especially down the stretch he also Ivan Almeida he had six rebounds two assists and two steals so that was actually pretty awesome Eddie Tavares he had three steals Okay, he was suffering. As, uh, he was really struggling, especially when he came to the personal fouls and turnovers. But in the rebounds, he really, really helped, especially grabbing those boards. He had 14 rebounds. That previous game, he had um, 12 rebounds. This one, he also had, he had 14. So that was something that really helped him get over the edge, and they were able to win that game. And it was a it was a game that was played more. I can say play more with the head than you know actually the game because it was just a lot of like you know plays it was a game that i looked at and it was like they needed to find a way to like win this game and play some good team basketball so in this next game okay are gonna match up against slovenia man this is uh this is just gonna be insane because my man luka Doncic is gonna be there i mean Luka Doncic has been sensational. I've, I'm looking at even like um, a situation where Kevadi need to win this game. They need to like beat. A, 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 he needs to beat. They need to beat Luka Doncic. Ivan and Joel Almeida. They need to like put a stamp on that. They have shown that, especially Ivan. He's actually a guy that can you know deliver the game to you like down the stretch he can take those tough shots or even like the tough shots can make even good plays as well so we need him to you know step up and also Eddie Tavares he, he needs to like you know um, find his way find his rhythm especially scoring wise and also in the rebounds he's been helping but man matching up against like uh, Luka Doncic I don't know what type of defense Kevadi are going to you know throw at Slovenia but they need to stop Luka Doncic because man that guy can even go for 48 or 50 so the other game he only scored 37 so 
Kid Vardy, man, they just need to find a way to, you know, slow him down a bit. And also, I know they're not going to be able to, like, you know, slow him down completely because, man, that's 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 an MVP candidate in the NBA. So, all in all, they just need to find a way to win that basketball game. It can be team basketball. Some one or a couple or two players can be able to show up like, the way they showed up against this game against Venezuela, but they need to win this ball game. So, yeah. I mean, if you guys like the video, make sure to leave your feedback down in the comments. I'm really excited to like um, looking at look look at these games. I'm very um, I just find them fun to see, and I'm just really excited. So please leave feedback down in the comments, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell, man. It helps you out a ton. I'm out. Peace.